a very good evening and welcome to Network. My name is Spumelele Zondi. Now tonight we have information on a village in Limpopo without mobile phone coverage. We caught up with campaign organizers of Zimbabwe's hashtag Tachamuka. Our discussion is on how you can get the perfect cell phone contract. You can find us on SABC Network. That's on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. News Network at SABC. Does here, does it on email. Let's start with your technology and social media news. Now, a lot of us use our mobile phones to browse the internet, send text messages, and make phone calls. Mobile phones link us to spaces where we can get information and help. The people of Ngalalume village in South Africa's Limbobo province can't do this. This is because they have no network coverage. Vodacom and MTN are aware of this. Catherine Mawila from SABC 2's Ngulaya Budibi compiled this insert that will air in full on 7 December. Please wait for the tone to leave a message. Did you hear that? The MTN phone isn't working. Let me get the Vodacom one. This is the kind of life residents here in Jim Gangala Lume outside Gianni in Limpopo live. The people struggle with getting signals for their cell phones. Firstly, service delivery is not on point here. It's even difficult for us to get an ambulance. Even the police are hard to get hold of. Our children cannot apply for administration jobs because there is no network at our schools. Ramsi Maluleke is a young unemployed man living in that area looking for a job. But this has proven to be difficult because there is no network coverage. I went to university in Limpopo and graduated in 2013. I came back home and started applying for jobs. I found the process difficult as I had network problems. I couldn't access the internet from my phone and laptop. You must go to town to access the internet cafe, which is also difficult because it requires money, which one usually doesn't have. The network problem also affects schools in this area. Here at school, we are also affected by the network problem. Number one, we cannot access news on the internet. And secondly, it's difficult to make and receive calls. Or to phone through a cell phone as all over. South African network providers say that they are trying to fix this problem. We have a sign that we plant, you know, uh, which is actually called Jim uh, Kalalume Primary School. It's the primary school. Uh, it's coming in the coming six, eight months or so, if not earlier than that. The target date, in actual fact, is March 2017. So the reason why we're planning the science is just to ensure that we can improve dominancy. So for instance, in the case of uh, Gonalaga um, in, in the village referred, it's not a case of coverage completely Igona. It's just that in certain areas it's very difficult because we don't have a dedicated tower. This year, there have been complaints that Zimbabwe often experiences a social media shutdown during protests. Dominant hashtags that are used to organize these protests are Tachamuka and This Flag. Tachamuka organizers say they're planning more protests for the holiday season. The hashtag Tachamuka dominated social media in Zimbabwe this year. The word is shown for we are outraged or we are revolting. Conversations using the hashtag also led to protests in Zimbabwe and South Africa. Those leading the campaign said it's because they're tired of economic hardships in that country and want things to change. Viva Zimbabwe, viva! Viva! Tachamuka! And the number one point is that Mugabe must step down immediately. He is now uh, a burden to, to the country. He must step down and allow Zimbabwe another chance. But obviously, with the impact that the movement had, it quickly evolved into a social movement that it is now known uh, to be. Organizers say they turned to social media for this campaign because it was the quickest way to get their message across to Zimbabweans. Social media was always going to be central uh, on, on our strategy from our inception. 
uh, because of the combative environment and the restrictive democratic environment in the country. We knew that we needed to use the social media to reach out to people, to inform people, to mobilize people, and that way we would be able to circumvent uh, the police, we would be able to circumvent uh, the, the biased uh, state media in the country. They say because of hashtag Tachamua conversations online and protests that took place, many campaign leaders were arrested, which led to a lot of action dying down. During protests, Zimbabweans stayed away from work. We are protesting that uh, Mugabe must go. I think that's the main cause. Because uh, we are going to work, but we are not receiving anything. No salaries, no one. Just working like slaves. We are staying away from our jobs so that they can see the country is collapsing and we are starving. We are suffering, but the leaders and their families are prospering. As the holiday season approaches, organizers of this popular campaign say they will be organizing more protest action because of having to endure a festive season when people have no money. TEDx Johannesburg kickstarted on Thursday with the theme Abundance. It's a platform for thinkers in different industries to share knowledge and information about different ways of doing things. This year's theme was Abundance and there were a few tech speakers there. If you put thinking brains in a room to discuss issues surrounding the same theme, what do you get? TEDx is the right answer. This is a series of talks that takes place across the globe and the speakers come from a range of industries. But how exactly do they select their speakers? We have two ways in which we do that. One is wherever we go, we always have a little notebook in our hands. When we watch TV, when we listen to the news uh, on radio, when we read a newspaper. When I open a magazine, I have a little book next to that where I'm taking notes. We're always looking out for people who are doing amazing work. But the other way we do it is we ask people to come to us. If you think you've got an idea worth spreading, if you think you could share that idea with the world, we have a platform for you. Such ideas are the one that Yasaman Hadibashi is talking about. Her focus is an online mentorship program that she created to help school children in Soweto. She says after conducting research on successful people, they discovered that those people have five similar behaviors, one of which is mentorship, and she's using that to help school children. The mentorship was more based on where does this kid want to get to, for example an engineer, and can I find a successful engineer to connect this kid with as a mentor? Because then it becomes a tangible example in the real world of someone who's doing something I'm you know, excited about and I think I want to do. And I can not only you know, ask them for advice, for guidance, or just chit chat, or just you know, nudge on them when I have self low confidence. And by the way, this is something that we're really, really seeing a lot in these communities, that it's not even a lot of times very professional or very specific technical discussions between the mentors and mentees it's a lot of times where the mentee comes back and says I really feel low energy today because I walk around my community and it's depression and I come home and I just have no confidence that I can make it get myself you know risen above the situation and that's where the mentor dialogue is very important and that's where you're coming and saying with artificial intelligence because it enables personalization and prediction in a global scale using technology and big data and machine learning can we automate this component of it? Because reality is we can't take an army of humans to go to all the schools and all these you know, academic institutions and provide that as a human-led experience, but can we have sufficient proof points and data that we can bring it back and create almost like robot mentors? Other speakers like Khidin Putkhidar were at the talks to encourage people with ideas to turn them into viable businesses. People out there that have ideas, we basically take those ideas, take them into design, then we prototype and then finally we take that into production. The aim of TED Talks is to get conversations going even after the event. They publish those talks online for individuals to have their say. The shopping spree continues with Cyber Mondays taking place tomorrow and students use old keyboard buttons to create a portrait of late Apple Inc. founder Steve Jobs. These are just some of the stories that made tech headlines in the last week. As if people did not spend enough on Black Friday sales, online retailers are preparing for Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday is the biggest day of the year for internet shopping and follows Black Friday, which is the busiest shopping day for brick and mortar retailers. Well, I guess the shopping continues. Now heading over to Egypt. 
A tech startup is encouraging Alexandria residents to recycle their waste by installing machines that will give them free mobile minutes and supermarket coupons in return for their rubbish. We've set up this collection center, which is a way to directly engage with the public who can now bring their empty bottles of juice or shampoo or cans or whatever we can encourage them by giving them the receipt that they can cash for prizes when they collect enough points. The prizes vary from phone, credit to childish books. The company will, in cooperation with the European Union, begin to set up collection points in schools and universities in Alexandria to encourage younger people to adopt eco-friendly habits. Now heading over to the Ukraine. Ukrainian students dismantle more than 100 computer keyboards to create portrait of Apple co-founder Steve Jobs. Yes, we ran out of keyboards. We plan to use all keyboards we had at the academy. But when we had made more than half of the portrait, we realized that our calculations were wrong. And of course, in the end, students thought they are old keyboards from home, and we used our new keyboards too. The picture is currently hanging on a wall at the academy but will soon be moving to a new home in California. Apple saw the image on Facebook and the academy have decided to donate it to the corporation. It's SABC Network on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. After the break, we'll just about how you can find the best cell phone contracts for yourself. Stay with us. It's more than a gift, it's capturing summer magic. Get a Galaxy S7 Edge with Tab 3 Lite Bundle for $6.99 per month on my MTN Choice Flexi 200. Plus your choice of a Gear VR or an accessory kit. The Galaxy S7 Edge, now in blue coral. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the man who takes the party from zero to hero, from bland to grand, from average to, well, to way above average. The guy who toots the party train horn and says, all aboard! You are indeed a party comrade, and we salute you with a bottle of Shivers Regal 12-year-old blended scotch whiskey, plus two glasses for just $279.99, exclusive to Tops at Spa. Celebrate the holidays at Macro with big festive season savings like a Johnny Walker 18-year-old platinum label whiskey gift pack with two glasses, only 949, save 50 rand. Johnny Walker black label whiskey gift pack with two glasses, only 290, save 20 rand. And Johnny Walker's best-selling red label whiskey gift pack with one glass, only 180, save 20 rand. Share in these and other big festive savings for home, for business, for life. Only at Macro. Big on life. News Network at sabc.co.za and email SABC Network on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Welcome back. Now, voice and data costs have been a big part of social media debates over the past few months. Most people are saying that these costs should be lower than they are. They have been comparing them with the rest of the continent. If you are a contract user, there might be some relief for you. There is a company that looks at that for you. Hello and welcome, Stephen. Oh, great to be here. Thanks. Now, Stephen, you are from Terrific. Yes. What happens at Terrific? So, Terrific is a company that helps consumers save money on their cell phone bills. And we work with corporates as well to help them manage their cellular spend. Mm. So, we have some really disruptive, incredible technology that helps you find the perfect cell phone contract for you based on your unique exact usage. Mm. Um, but how do you do this, Anthony? So we have a website available, um, and it's available for free for consumers. So you could go to Terrific.com, that's T-A-R-I-F-F-I-C, Terrific.com, and then you follow a simple three-step process. So step one, 
you let us know what network you're interested in. Um, some people have a preference, other people would just uh, be interested in all of them. Step two is you let us know what cell phone you want. As I'm sure you, you know, uh, the choice of cell phone uh, decides a lot of consumer behavior out there. So we, we cater for that and we, we help you find the best contract if you're looking for the latest iPhone or if you're looking for a SIM-only deal or whatever your requirements are. Mm. Oh, what are some mm. of the biggest mistakes that people make when they're looking for new cell phone contracts? I think the biggest number one mistake is people don't find the right cell phone contracts for them. They find the right cell phone contract based on the phone they want and based on the cheapest deal out there. And then they land up stuck in a 24-month contract that's just completely inappropriate. And the them. cheapest is not necessarily cheap. No, no. So you could get the cheapest contract, but then you'll land up going out of bundle on the 10th of the month and you'll pay exorbitant out of bundle rates that are just inaffordable. Mm. Um, and there's also a second part of what you do. You work with uh, corporates as well that want to get contracts for their employees. Yeah, so we have a, an online real-time system that helps corporates understand what's going on in their cellular environment, helps them save money on their cell phone bills when their contracts expire and within the term of their contracts, and then helps them identify employee abuse. I'm sure you, you could understand that if you're giving a contract to your employees, they will abuse that and they will do whatever they want with that cell phone. And we help companies identify and stop that in their tracks. Uh, but someone who is watching might say this is not really helping them save on data, is it? Um, so we, we really encourage people to find the best contracts when you take out your contract. Make sure you're choosing the right contract. But then within the term of the contract, you could save money on data. So you could add on data bundles. Um, we were talking about it earlier that the, the cost of out of bundle data is six times more expensive than adding a data bundle. So the moment you get that SMS from your service provider, please just add a data bundle and you'll be saving a fortune. Mm. Um, uh, is data as expensive in South Africa as, as most people have been saying it is? So I'm glad you asked. Uh, we actually ran a study a few months ago and we compared the price of contract data um, in South Africa versus all the other BRICS countries and comparing it to Kenya and Australia as well. We found that out of all those countries, South Africa had the second most expensive data contract prices, uh, second only to Brazil. So yes, we agree that data costs are too expensive and so that data uh, must fall. How, how did you do these comparisons and is that across all networks in South Africa? Yeah, so we looked at the average rate of data in South Africa and then we identified uh, the cheapest networks in all the different countries and we are looking at data contracts only. Um, so we weren't looking at any of the promo specials and we weren't looking at prepaid. We wanted to look at uh, a like-for-like -like basis. And that's what we found. Mm. Uh, so when someone goes to the website now, they are looking for the best deal for themselves. Um, is there a place where do they pay? What, what happens there? So what's really incredible and revolutionary about our offering is we offer it for com completely for free for consumers. This is the only place for you to find the perfect cell phone contract for you. So we, I really encourage people to go to our website, terrific.com, follow the simple three-step process and find the perfect cell phone contract. Mm -hmm. um, and what types of contracts are there? You, you say there's more than one type. So we've found in our research that there are more than 10,000 different combinations. 10,000 10, different 10, combinations. combinations of contracts and bundles out there amongst all four major networks. Never mind the MVNOs that are now coming up. So the, the choice is just exacerbating. And there's no way to find the perfect contract for you without using a tool like All that. All right, let's talk about these um, 10,000 different con <laughs> contract combinations. Uh, what goes into them? What are, what are some examples that you can give us here? So we found what's really interesting is that these contracts are all incomparable. Some have uh, inclusive RAND value. So some will give you 500 RAND of, of value to use or on calls, on data, etc. Others give you inclusive minutes and data to use. So you really can't compare them. Um, what we have found recently is that these telecom freemi packages are uh, performing incredibly well mm. for users looking for a lot of data. Mm. Um, and is there a difference between someone who is on prepaid and what they would be paying and someone who decides to take up a contract? Is it cheaper to be on contract? Is it cheaper yeah. to be on prepaid? Sure. It's a question we, we always get asked and I think that's, that's probably a, a different discussion altogether. But I could tell you uh, from a very high level perspective that prepaid is good and often works out cheaper if that suits your lifestyle. But often people don't want that prepaid lifestyle. They, w they want to be able to make a call when they want to. They want to be able to roam and they want all the other benefits that come with postpaid. All right. So, Anthony CF, CEO of Terrific, thank you very much for being a part of our network tonight. Thanks for having me. Great to be here. All right. Thank you. That is Anthony CF, who is CEO of Terrific. All right, this week we spoke to last year's Idols winner. We have heard that this year's Idols winner has just been announced about an hour ago, but we spoke to last year's winner and we asked him about his favorite piece of technology.
Bizu yangi landela What do you want from me we yangi chama na Just stop it's not working I'm funny when I mm Gifuna longa ni wako suga when Let me tell you my name What's up everybody this is Karam Mohane my favorite piece of technology is my camera called the Nikon D3200 and yeah I mean I, I love taking pictures of that everywhere I go I mean last year I was river rafting and I took really beautiful pictures so yeah some of my favorite things to have Information hungry viewers stay with SABC News as issues on the West are different from issues on the East or here in Johannesburg. So it is not surprising that people who follow the news know that there are two things for sure that anything can happen and SABC News will tell you when it does. Because we keep the nation fully informed. We are SABC News. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> SABC Network on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Welcome back. Now, after a lot of memes of people using Doom in interesting ways on social media, we asked you if you enjoyed these memes. They started appearing after a church pastor appeared in photos on social media spraying congregants with Doom. Most people who responded said they have been enjoying these memes. 72% of people say they've been hilarious. There's 24% that have said they don't like them at all and there is four percent that says well they played a part in creating some of these memes well enjoy playing uh, having fun with doom now let's see what some people have been sharing on social media idols garrett cliff has been trending on social media this is after it was revealed that he spiked a drink that led to the firing of former judge marilo the information will be in cliff's book to release later in the week Popular American online publication, The Huffington Post, has launched in South Africa. Many were tweeting about the event. The Koroga Music Festival has been trending. And that's all we have for you. Find us on SABC Network, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. News Network at sabc.co.za on email. Now from me, Spumela Lezondi, and the rest of the network team, have a good one.